I guess Anthony, talk about uh, tonight, man. Is it, is it uh, bittersweet at all to not be fighting tonight, or are you only <laughs> kind of hanging out and, and getting to soak it in? Oh man, I I obviously would would have wanted to fight. I wanted to fight on this card, but it is cool to kind of be able to enjoy the UFC being in Lincoln and uh, just seeing the crowd and the atmosphere and just kind of taking it all in a little bit. So. You know, I, I think everything happens for a reason. I think that the Shogun fight was obviously a much better opportunity. Uh, and that's what it's all about to me. I, I, of course, me fighting in Lincoln would have been strictly a personal thing. It, it wouldn't have got me anywhere because we wouldn't have been able to get anybody that really would have propelled my career. So, you know, I'm enjoying hanging out, you know, in the, in the downtime. It's cool. Very nice. You mentioned the, the KO. I mean, back-to-back -back knockouts of former champs. I mean, yeah. incredible stuff. Give me an idea kind of how you're feeling right now after, after notching those two wins. Um... Well, I think I've even talked with you a lot about like when I when I finally put it together that it was going to be it was going to be crazy, you know, that I, I, I knew what I was capable of. just wasn't sure what the missing piece was. And, and now I think it a little bit of it. It's my I don't want to necessarily necessarily say my maturity, but definitely my my experience. You know, I think my physical capacity, my mental capacity finally matched up and, and not cutting the weight makes a huge difference. You know, I, I, I can go in there with a clear mind and, and focused. I was going to say, I mean, how much of it is attributed just to the to the weight change? I mean, do you feel like it's everything coming together, or do you think that was, like, the biggest final hurdle to you being able to perform at, at I, I think that was the missing piece. I think that everything was really, really close to coming together, but I think I was just wrecking myself. It, it just, just mentally, the stress and anxiety that I put on myself, and then when I was in the Shogun fight, I, I noticed that I was able to, like, really open up my vision a lot and, like, started to set traps for him and... and was able to see what he was doing and, and, and really start to, you know, read all the tells that he was given. I've never been able to do that before because, I, I, you know, I just wrecked myself the night before. I feel like dog shit. I, half the time I was like, ah, I don't, it kind of is what it is, you know, and I'm just hyper focused and, and I don't have to do all that weight cutting anymore. And my, and my mindset's totally different. So I honestly think that that's probably just the missing piece. I don't think, you know, I, I think that's obviously the things that people are seeing right now, but I, I think that I was, you know, now the now the picture's clear. Nice. You're, you're staying busy, man. I mean, mm -hmm. you got another big fight book, yeah. so I wonder, I mean, uh, how's the body holding up? How are you feeling? I mean, is, is it, you mentioned it, it's nice to have a little time off. So, mm -hmm. I mean, has this been tough for you to have these back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back camps? You know, physically, I feel all right. You know, I'm, I'm not injured. I'm not banged up. I'm not... You know, like my my body feels great, and I think a lot of that has to do with the weight cut. I'm not I'm not really breaking myself, so I don't I'm not doing a lot of damage to myself. Uh, the fights have been quick, fortunately, and I haven't taken too many shots, so which helps. Uh, but, but I think I think emotionally and like mentally, it's kind of taking a little bit of a toll. Like you know, I got three young kids and a fiance, and I train in Denver. I live in Omaha, so I'm back and forth. So it's, it's been nice just to be home and just kind of chill out a little bit, you know. But I've, always, I've been begging for short turnarounds for a long time, and, you know, I guess be careful what you wish for, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing for me, talk about the matchup that you have. I mean, this is uh, no offense to the former champions, but this is kind of a more current contender, you know. Sure. So do you think this fight may even have more meaning, and, and, and how do you feel like you match up with him? I think that stylistically, I don't think the Vulcan's any tougher of a fight than, than Shogun is. I, I, I think that they're really, really similar in the way that they fight. They're both aggressive. They're both kind of counter guys. They're... They're both obviously strikers, uh, but I think for the fans, it's going to make a difference because you know, as much as I think it's bullshit, you know, everyone pretends like I'm out here beating up children that can't defend themselves anymore. You know, and we did, we know that's not the case, but you know, it, it is what it is. So now it's someone who's younger, is closer to my age, and and I think this will really kind of shut the people up and say, all right, you know, maybe he's for real. How is Factory X, man? It seems like you're just taking your game to the next level. Factory X is, um, it's, I'm telling you, it's a hidden gem. It's one of the, it's, it's one of the best training facilities in the entire world. Uh, Mark Montoya is an, is, is a unsung hero. Like I, w I wish, I wish he would get a little bit more of the, you know, the, the push that some of these other, you know, big name coaches get, but a little bit of that's on me. I think I need to do my job to, uh, to show people what Mark's really capable of, you know, I, and I think that people are starting to really pay attention. I mean, I wasn't quote unquote the wo the world beater that everyone you know thought and then now all of a sudden here we are and now everyone's talking about title shots and I think that has a lot to do with Mark Montoya. All right, cool. Thank you. Cool. Thank you, sir. Appreciate Thanks a lot, guys. It,